we have a question from Mr. Wang in regards to his motorcycle, which has telescopic forks. As I don't have upside down forks, it's not easy to see the fork tube. So how do I measure sag when I have telescopic forks? The process, Mr. Wang, is exactly the same. You would elevate the bike, whether that's with friends coming over and lifting it in the air, <clears throat> so that you can measure from the joint of the dust seal to the bottom of the lower triple clamp. That way the forks are fully extended. Then when you put the bike down and rest it, say it's on a rear stand, then the front end will collapse under its own weight. And you can take a second measurement, that is a static sag or free sag measurement with the bike simply under its own weight. You can then get on board, preferably with your gear on, except your helmet and gloves, and do a third measurement, which will then give you rider sag. Again, that will go from the joint of the dust seal on the top of the fork leg to the lower triple clamp. That will give you all three measurements of what you have. At that point, you can therefore go ahead and set sag appropriately. Now, obviously, if it's a street bike, you're gonna look for anywhere between 30 to 40 millimeters in front sag. And remember that sag is only a starting point. It gets you into a ballpark. We're all different. We all have different requirements in terms of comfort level, bump absorption, and feeling what we want the front of the bike to tell us. So when you've got it in a ballpark, may I recommend that you then play with preload adjustments to see what feels better. Do it on the same stretch of road you know very well. And at that point, take a tool with you and change the preload going backwards and forwards at the same pace so that you are not the liability or the volatility in the test. So hopefully that helps you and good luck with sending sag on the front of the bike. If you have questions, please send them to Facebook via Dave Moss Tuning. And thanks for your questions.